What's up, Threadheads? This week, Kryn shows you how to make some dread falls, and I head to Diana Ang's futuristic fashion show. Plus, we announce the winner of the 2010 Threadbanger Sewing Machine Contest. Let's go. Today in the Threadbanger Workshop, we're kicking it old school with the ancient technique of needle felting. I just recently got into needle felting, and I must warn you, it's pretty addictive. I'm gonna show you the basic technique, then we're gonna take what we learned and answer a question about how to make dread falls. For needle felting, you need a barbed needle, a thick foam block, and some felt. If you're in need of the supplies, check out backtobackalpaca.com. They're a great company and they take really good care of their alpacas. Now a note on safety. These needles are super sharp. Be really, really careful and pay attention to what you're doing. For instance, watching television while you're needle felting isn't the best idea. Okay, pull a draft from your wool and lay it on the foam block. The general idea is that you stab your felt many, many times with the needle and the barbs on the end of the needle work to tangle the fibers together to create the shape you want. One of my favorite felting artists is Finger Stuck Felts. They create some of the cutest little creatures. Now, on to the dread falls. I've seen a lot of them made with synthetic hair, but I wanted to make ours out of a natural fiber, cause I'm a natural kind of gal. First, pull a 20 inch length of your wool and place it on your foam block. And remember, each dread can be a different length, so you can create a layered look. Twist it as you poke your needle in and out, starting at the end. I'm using black wool as the base because I had a bunch of it, but you can use any color you want. Continue to twist and poke it a bunch until you reach the end of the length of wool. It doesn't have to be perfect, just the general shape of a dreadlock. Now take out a contrasting color. Pull a draft and wrap it around your dread. Felt the two colors together with your needle and do this until you reach the end of your dread. Next, we're gonna employ a bit of wet felting to lock everything in its place. Put some soapy water on your dread and steam. Cover with mesh fabric and roll back and forth with your hand to create friction and keep the shape. Rinse your dread and let dry. Once you have all your dreads made, decide how you wanna wear them. I want mine like pigtails, so I did eight dreads for each side. Put a hair tie around the middle of the eight dreads and put it on a side bun like so. Do the same to the other side and let out your inner cyber goth. We'll be right back with Diana Ng's fairy tale fashion show, so don't go anywhere. Hey Threadbangers, do you sell your DIY wares? Well donate an item to our Handmade for Haiti auction. Click on me or follow the link below for more info on how to donate. Hey, so we're hanging out here at uh, Diana Ng's fashion here show we are. with Brie Pettis. This is great. What are you doing here? You know, where there's LEDs, I'm there. And well, Diana's work is just so great. It's sparkly, there's EL wire, there's LEDs, it's throbbing to the music, it's in balloons. We can't resist it. Well, here we go, check it out. So here I have a basic switch. One end of the switch is my needle that's wired up and the other end is conductive fabric that I have. So when the needle goes through the fabric, the switch closes and um, a note is produced. And so for this performance, I have each note playing through a sequence that is getting passed on to this guy who then gets uh, chopped up and effects added and whatnot. Hey, so that's it for the show. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. 
Diana, your show rocked. Thanks for inviting us. And now, the moment you have all been waiting for. The winner of the Threadbanger sewing machine is... Veronica with How to Paint Shoes. Shoes. Veronica, congrats, and a big thanks to everyone who sent in videos and who voted. You guys were awesome. Next week, we're unveiling a brand new look for Threadbanger. We've been working really hard on it, so make sure to check it out next week and let us know what you think. We'll see you then.